in the interest of staying on schedule. Um, he, here's uh, Ronald Zuniga Rojas. He's going to tell us about variations of Hodge structures, and you can read the rest of his title. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Marcos. And actually, thank you to the organizers. It's a pleasure being here. And actually, I want to thank also to, to Roxandra because she presented a lot of, of the basic stuff I need for my talk. <laughs> there is a lot of, of her stuff that is, is pretty basic for, for what I need and, and I forgot <laughs> to put all the, the, stable, the stable part in here, but that's great. <laughs> it came great. Actually, I, I, right now I am pretty interested in, in Ruxandra's work. Well, uh, I will talk about variations of what structures um, of rank three K-Higgs bundles on the, on the modular space of, of rank three K-Higgs bundles. And of course, the relation with the modular spaces of holomorphic triples. Uh, here's my plan. Well, uh, sorry. Here's uh, there's a preliminary version of, of my work in on the archive, and also a, a final published version on geometry dedicata. Uh, here is more or less my plan for today. I'll present some preliminaries. Uh, it seems that <laughs> I forgot some of them, <laughs> but well, we have already talked about them. Well, Ruxandra talked about them. Uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, I will present the preliminaries in order to understand the tools, my, my own tools, the, the tools that I built for uh, to obtain my main results. And that's pretty much, okay? Um, well, consider a compact connected Riemann surface X of genus G. So in this case, I have a, a manifold of, of complex dimension one. Everybody here, well, uh, almost everybody here knows what a, a Riemann surface of genus greater than two is. Uh, Arabically, it is also an irreducible non singular curve over C. Here's a very funny picture of our friend Riemann that I found on the web. So I thought it would be funny to share with you. Um, a Higgs bundle, as uh, very people already talk about them, a Higgs bundle over my surface, over my Riemann surface is. A pair E phi, where E is a holomorphic vector bundle and phi is a twisted endomorphism, uh, is an endomorphism of E twisted by the, the canonical line bundle or the cotangent bundle, however you want it uh, here. Since we are on a dimension one complex anything, it is exactly the same. Um, if we, of course, fix rank and degree of the underlying vector bundle, the uh, isomorphism classes of all the stable Higgs bundles are parameterized by this quasi predictive variety, the modular space of polystable Higgs bundles. Uh, of course, well, uh, I work here with the co prime case, uh, so polystability implies stability, and uh, the modular space becomes a smooth projective variety. Uh, as Alexandra says uh, uh, a few minutes ago, these spaces were first worked by Hitchin. Uh, he worked with uh, Riemann surfaces, actually, and rank two Higgs bundles. And Simpson, and uh, Ruxandra is, is right. Uh, Simpson, uh, first time he, he worked with his generalization was in 1988. But in this paper of 1992 is the very first time that he uses the, the concept of Higgs bundle, the, the term, which uh, is a pair where, the, where he, he has a, a holomorphic vector bundle joined by a, an endomorphism twisted by the, by the tangent bundle. Uh, well, those are the years of the, of the papers, not the years of the pictures. <laughs> These are very new pictures, actually. I think this is hit in 2016, if I'm not mistaken for his 70th birthday Congress. And this is Simpson in Porto in 2019. Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay, uh, Higgs bundles are a very interesting topic of research because they have links with many areas of mathematics, such as integrable systems, mirror symmetry, language program, much theory, among others. Here, of course, I am interested on their link to Hodge theory. That's why the papers of Simpson, the papers of Hansel and Thaddeus, and also Tamas thesis are particularly useful for my purposes. Uh, 
I am too fast? Am I too fast? Uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> a K Higgs bundle or Higgs bundle with poles of order K is a, a Higgs bundle where the morphism is twisted this time by LP K times, where P is an arbitrary fixed point of the surface and LP is its associated line bundle or its trivial local structure chief. So the Higgs field this time looks like the endomorphism of E twisted by the canonical line bundle and this LP K times, okay? Uh, there is a Morse function F defined by the L2 norm of the Higgs field applied to the moduli space of uh, general rank and degree. I study actually the stabilization of the homology groups of critical submenifers from this Morse function uh, for the rank three case. And as I've already said, the quote prime condition ensures that the modular space of K Higgs bundles of rank three is, is smooth. Everything is everything that has been worked for for Higgs bundles or Higgs pairs also applies to to K Higgs to, to, to K Higgs bundles, sorry. Uh, actually, Higgs bundles, uh, K Higgs bundles are a particular case of, of Higgs pairs. So, according to Simpson, the critical points of, of this Morse function F are uh, variations of the Hodge structure, or VHS for short, so called Hodge, Hodge bundle, sorry. Uh, which are decomposition of, of direct sums where phi is awaited endomorphism, awaited homomorphism, sorry, uh, twisted by the canonical line bundle. This happens for general rank. In my case, in the case of rank three, there are three kinds of, of variations of a structure. The, the one, two, the, the, sorry. The one, two means that here I'm taking this guy of rank one and this guy of rank two, it's dual, the two one. And in the case of rank three appears the one, 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 the, the one, one, one VHS, which is a, a decomposition on the direct sum of three line bundles. And the Higgs field takes this particular form. Um, here, uh, if the, the these, these guys are the, how to call it the critical submanifolds of the of the Morse function. In the particular case for the one one one, uh, I am using m one and two to index the the submanifold because I'm using uh, an auxiliar, a couple of auxiliar bundles over the surface. I'm taking m j as the bundle uh, l j dual times Lj plus one times the tensor in K times Lpk. Okay, so this is a bundle over the, of the surface X and its degree is actually the, um, the lowercase mj that I'm taking here. So it will be uh, minus dj plus dj plus one. I prefer to write it down like dj plus one minus dj plus the degree of the canonical line bundle in this case is two g minus two plus k. Okay, so this is mj, m1 and m2 uh, so far are the guys who indexed the critical submanifolds that contains one, one, one VHS. The other two, the, sorry, can you see the notations that I just write it down with the pen? Yes, we do see it. Okay. Yes. The other two, FD1 and FD2, thank you, Marcos, are the, are close related to the, to the sigma stable modular spaces of triples. They, well, in this case, actually, it's 2, 1, D, 1, D, 2. They are isomorphic and the dual of course will be the other way around and sigma one two d one d two okay uh, continue 
So what is a holomorphic triple? A holomorphic triple is uh, a triple where we have a couple of holomorphic vector bundles and a holomorphic map between them. Uh, in this case, the, the range, uh, uh, let me see, the, the stability of, of this for triples depends on, on this uh, uh, real parameter, which gives a collection of moduli spaces of triples in general, widely worked by, by a lot of authors. Uh, the range of this sigma is actually an interval split by a finite number of, of critical values. Uh, here, the papers of Bradlo, Garcia Prada Gotten, uh, Munoz Oliveira Sanchez, and Munoz Ortega Vasquez Gallo are great references for the interval details. Um, what means to be critical for a sigma? Well, uh, sigma is critical for this type of, uh, of moduli of, of triples. If there are numbers, R1, R, R1 prime, say R2 prime, D1 prime, and D2 prime, such that uh, there is an equality of the sigma slopes. R1, sorry, uh, it is. Sorry, I wrote it the wrong guy for the numerator is D1, D2 plus sigma times R2 over R1 plus R2, okay? So if the, the sigma slope of, of, this, of these four numbers is equal to this one, then there is, sigma is a, a critical value for the, for the interval. Um, let me see, I work with a very particular framework. I study holomorphic triples on the surface X of this form. Uh, E1 tilde to tilde phi with the type I've already described a few minutes before. Two one, D1 tilde, D2 tilde, where uh, ranks and degrees come from the, from the one to VHS and E1 tilde and E2 tilde are actually in terms of E2 and E1 respectively. And uh, of course, the, I also study the holomorphic triples uh, this time with type 1, 2, D1 tilde, D2 tilde. The, uh, those where the ranks and degrees come from the, from the dual 2, 1 VHS. And so E1 tilde is in terms of E1, E2 tilde in terms of E2. And here the, the degree of the first of the first uh, bundle is is a slightly different. The one tilde would be in terms of e one, which is of one one. So it just multiplies one time the degree of the of the twisted part. Finally, I also study the one 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 VHS, which is related to Cartesian products of this kind. Here, uh, we also have an isomorphism from the, the critical submanifold to, the, to this Cartesian product. Uh, we take the devices of the non-trivial parts of the Higgs field. So it gives us the first couple of entries. Sorry, three, two this time. And L3 for the third entry. This is an isomorphism and actually I usually take something different, not in one, but a change of variable, mi equal to mi minus two, oh, sorry, minus, minus k. So I usually work with the symmetric product of m tilde i. Uh, plus k instead of mi. Why? Because I need to consider uh, embeddings where I need to look what happened with the order of the poles of the of the Higgs field. These embeddings, actually, my estimates for cohomology are based on on these embeddings. 
from the from the k step from the Higgs field or with all supporter k to the k plus one step tensoring by a non-trivial section of the linear bundle LP. Okay. Well, my main tools. Uh, here is uh, what we call the roof theorem, the so-called roof theorem. Uh, there is an embedding at the blow-up level. This, this tilde means that we are working at the blow-up level of, 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 the, of the flips. Here is uh, the, the formal diagram where the dashed arrow is the embedding that I found, this one here. But I prefer this diagram. Well, here actually it looks like a, a roof shape where the, the front plane contains the, the blow ups and the, the moduli space of n sigma plus and the background is so for the n sigma minus. Here, these guys are, well, uh, everybody is, has been described here. Uh, and tilde is the blow up of, of this modular space along the flips. Uh, and the same time represents the blow up of the sigma c plus. Who are these guys? Well, uh, sigma c is a critical value in the, in the interval of uh, I've already mentioned and sigma c minus and sigma is just sigma c minus epsilon and sigma c plus is sigma c plus epsilon for some epsilon, some positive epsilon such that sigma c is the only critical value in the subinterval sigma c minus sigma c plus. So this is sigma. Okay, so those flip loci are sets of triples of the form n sigma c plus such that t is unstable for the other part. Stable for the other edge for sigma c minus. Okay, and so um, the other one is pretty hard. Something happened when I showed this screen minus here minus here and plus in here is the other locus. Okay, so uh, this n tilde is the blow up of these moduli spaces at this flip loci. And why I'm interested in this, in this embedding is because this embedding ensures me that I can stabilize the cohomology of the, of the blow up for this index. And if I can stabilize the, the cohomology for the blow up, I can stabilize it also for the whole moduli, the, the sigma stable, the moduli spaces, sorry, of sigma stable triples in this case for any sigma critical where we have this dependence of the, of the order of the poles K. Okay, good. With these tools, I can then conclude that the, there is an isomorphism also in cohomology for the one, two VHS, since this guy is isomorphic to the N sigma HK, two, one, V1 tilde, V2 tilde. This is a particular critical value in the interval. So I have this stabilization for cohomology in the case of one, two VHS. Sorry, here is actually the description of the critical value. Depending on the parameter K, actually it is the degree of, of the twisted part, which, which I already mentioned before. And uh, we also have a, a dual version of the roof theorem and so a dual version for the, 
for the stabilization of the 2-1 VHS. This is exactly the same thing. This time for sigma HK 1 2 V1 tilde, D2 tilde. And so uh, they are isomorphic step by step in cohomology. The final result is a little bit uh, stronger. Here I am taking the F infinity. This is uh, thinking about the critical submanifold of F infinity, the, the direct limit in the resolution tower. If you think that's a resolution tower of NK Higgs bundles, we can think about the, the direct limit. And zero will be the usual moduli space of, of rank three K Higgs bundles, of rank three K, rank three Higgs bundles, sorry. And this one actually is why I wanted to to, to work with the M tilde is because I wanted to look what happened with the order of the poles. Here it will be it was a little bit not too much but a little bit easier than the other two because what I did was apply to the work of McDonald in terms of the cohomology for symmetric products since this guy is isomorphic to this. Cartesian probe that I mentioned before. Okay. Well, uh, this is pretty much what I have. Here are some of the references. Well, maybe before the references, what is uh, my goal besides stabilizing the cohomology? Well, what I want is to follow a route quite similar to the, the route that the Thomas Hausel did for rank two. Uh, once I have stabilized the cohomology, I am looking for a better index to stabilize by Poincaré also homology and then by Herwig's taking the relative homology groups. Uh, I'm thinking about homotopy and I, uh, I want to, to look for a better index of stability in terms of the relative homotopy groups for moduli spaces, not just for rank three, but also for general rank. And well, that's that's actually me, not my main goal. Here are some of the references that I mentioned along the presentation. And, uh, and well, the, here is everything I have said today. Thank you very much. All right, looks like Ronald. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, uh, Ronald, uh, are, are you aware of the uh, gauge theory side of things like uh, Hook Sandra was uh, mentioning for this set of equations that you were talking about with the extra twists? Yes, we are aware, yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, you mean, uh, uh, you mean the gauge action in general for the, for the K, Higgs moduli spaces. Yes. 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 We are aware. Actually, I mentioned them on the on the, on the paper. But since I, I was in a rush preparing the, the presentation and I didn't know how much time I, I had for. It. But yes, we were aware about the, the gauge action and the, on the moduli space of, of K Higgs bundles. And it works pretty much the same on, on the K Higgs moduli space than it does on the on the moduli space of rank three. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Um, Stephen, uh, you're muted. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I really enjoyed your uh, talk, Ronald. Uh, you, so one one observation. So these um, these uh, sort of K Higgs bundles, where you have twists by sort of higher powers of line bundles. Um, so actually, a student of mine, uh, his name is Evan Sunbow, 
uh, is currently at the University of Toronto. He, he looked at these um, in, uh, as a piece of a larger category of, uh, of twisted morphisms. So uh, looking at, at categories of, of vector bundles with morphisms between uh, between bundles where the, the morphisms are graded by the twist by a line bundle. So I just thought you might be, uh, might be interested in that. So your, you know, your objects here are, um, you know, a, a piece of the grading in this, uh, this twisted category of, uh, of bundles that, uh, that Evan was, uh, was looking at in his, uh, in his thesis and, and papers. Um, so I decided to point that out. And uh, just as a general question, so of course, you know, you're focusing on triples. Uh, do you have any similar results for any uh, longer uh, holomorphic chains or, or variations of hot structure? No, I haven't tried for, for longer holomorphic chains so far, but it, it is very interesting to try to do it. And uh, now that you told me that your student is working on, on something quite similar, uh, it will be interesting if, if we if we share contacts and, and so on. No, definitely. Yeah, I, we, should, uh, we should speak. And I'll clarify, he, he's not working on this currently. He worked on it for his, his prior thesis, but now he's, okay. uh, he's no longer uh, working with me. Um, this was sort of a couple of years ago. But yeah, okay. it's, uh, yeah we should, uh, should definitely talk. But yeah, I'd be interested in, in um, seeing what one can do for, uh, for longer chains. Um, yeah, longer chains I haven't tried. Yeah, yeah. but, but it, it will be also interesting to do it. Yeah. Oh, definitely. All right, thanks. It's a really nice talk. Thank you, Stephen. Um, just one comment. I'm knitting uh, yes. knitting knitting construct the the moduli by by tensor the endomorphism by with any line band, not with the canonical, but you can do it yes. for any line yes. bundle, and he has the moduli space. Does you know how to relate the, that moduli space of knitting knitting with your result? Yes, that's right, Leticia. Actually, I, I didn't mention it here, but Niti Nitsure is a very interesting uh, paper with, well, Nitsure, sorry. Uh, he also, uh, he, he did, the, his paper is, uh, I think it is in the references, I hope. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, it is related, but oh, it is not here. It is related. With uh, with my moduli space of K Higgs bundles with uh, a very particular uh, line bundle, right? Because I am tensoring by by K LPK and uh, and Mitsure did it for for a general L, right? Yeah. Uh, I have explored the the Mitsure's work and and it, it gave me a lot of spread a lot of light. Of what I'm doing right now, but but I'm still working on on this very particular case, and actually for rank three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also, uh, um, Luis Arvales Cosu, Oscar Garcia Prada, and Alexander Smith, they construct the moduli of chains. Right. Yeah. Any, any, so yeah. That could be useful also, no? That it is, yes, this is a, a wonderful piece of work that they have. Yes, you are absolutely right. Uh, Alexander was here a couple of years ago and actually we were exploring somehow the, the work for chains is related to, to what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Thank you.